Sushi, an ancient Japanese food staple now enjoyed by over 60% of Americans and is a $22 billion industry with over 4,000 sushi restaurants in the United States alone. But there's just one big issue for anyone producing sushi to keep in mind. Sushi rice needs to be kept warm at about 90 degrees Fahrenheit for best results when making rolls. However, holding sushi rice at this temperature can create the perfect environment for foodborne illnesses to grow such as the soil bacteria Bacillus cereus and Staphylococcus aureus. This has caused health departments to crack down on practices around handling sushi rice and create a requirement that the pH of rice be kept below 4.6, since keeping the rice below this pH will ensure that toxic pathogens will not be able to grow. Most restaurants and facilities that produce sushi are mandated by law to maintain a record of hold times and pH levels. Failure to do so could result in heavy fines and temporary closure of your business. So if you're looking for an accurate, durable, and highly affordable option for checking the pH and temperature in sushi rice, then it's time for you to meet the Halo 2 Bluetooth compatible pH meter. Click on the link in the description below if you want to learn more about the Halo 2 pH meter. This meter provides automatically compensated temperature readings and an anti-clogging flat pH electrode tip specifically designed for sushi rice. The HANA Lab app enables you to turn your smartphone or tablet into a professional grade meter and pairs perfectly with your HALO 2 tester. It also gives you live readings and graphings of your current sample pH and temperature for HACCP record keeping and real time data logging. In addition, it shows you your current battery status and pH probe condition. Lastly, the HALO 2 comes with a one year warranty and expert support from our highly knowledgeable HANA Instruments team. So download the HANA Lab app now and try it out in demo mode so you can return to safely making those mouth-watering sushi rolls that so many Americans crave.